Hello everyone. This is gonna be a different video this this time. We just finished up a pretty bad blizzard here. Literally like today. It's still snowing, but kind of cooped up. So uh, me and Diva are gonna go on a hike. So I figured we'll bring you guys along with us. So one of the reasons why I, I figured I would film this and bring you guys along for this trip is because we do a lot of our videos focused on, you know, dogs working and, and what the workability is and, and training exercises. And I don't think me, uh, and a lot of trainers touch on how important it is to not just work, right? Like we need, we need work, uh, you know, but all work and no play uh, isn't for a good time. Uh, and, and I think that it also really helps with, you know, bonding and building bonds with your dog. I mean, your dog bonding with you is getting out and doing things that aren't so strenuous. There's, there's not this big criteria that they need to meet. My criteria for a hike is, hey, stay in sight. When I, when I call, come and hang out, come check back in with me. Uh, but other than that, go have fun. And if the dog's not ready to be off leash, we'll, I'll do a hike on a long line. We have a long line out and we just go walk around. They get to be a dog and I get to just enjoy my dog. I think a lot of times with our, you know, the, the working dog folk and even some of our pet folk, you know, when we get focused so much on what the next task is, we forget to just appreciate and enjoy our dogs. Um, and, and we're missing a, a key component, I think, in actually getting your dog to work even better for you um, is you want to have a good relationship. Diva is a pretty unique dog in that she really doesn't care too, too much about me. Um, so I got to make sure that I kind of um, manufacture these times and manufacture the, these kind of events that are out of the norm or, or, or a novel event for her uh, to really help kind of force that uh, that bond. All right, so we're at one of our spots. Look at that, untouched trail, fresh snow. I'm gonna go break some ground with Diva. So it is cold, it's about negative 10 what the car was reading. Um, but in here, it feels great and it's pretty. Um, so also one of the things that I do um, whenever I come out, Diva's an older dog, but I still, I got a pocket full of food on me. As you can see, she's pretty into it. <laughs> um, so I always, you know, I, I, even while we're out, although there's not a lot of um, rules to our hike at the moment, uh, whenever I see things that I do like and I appreciate behaviors of her doing, I still make sure I pay for them. Not again, not super formal, but she gets paid for a job well done. So if you do decide to go out on these hikes, like I think you should with your dogs, um, some, some of the things you want to watch out for, obviously are wildlife in a place like this, um, and then other dogs potentially, you know. We're lucky we got some fresh snow so we can see there's no other dogs out here right now. Um, but it's why it's important to have a super reliable recall um, and a way to reinforce that recall. <whistles> oh. Missed it. The other tip that I would give you if you're going somewhere remote, uh, let someone know where you're at. Uh, <laughs> you know, you don't want to be out walking our dogs and then we got to send uh, some search and rescue people for you. So let people know where you're at. If you got an iPhone, share your location with someone you trust. Um, but have fun. If you notice, Diva always kind of looks back and checks in to see what's going on with me which in this context is totally fine and actually preferable so we're here just kind of enjoying the walk <laughs> diva's trying to do crazy stuff so one of the things i'll be aware of is those are tracks up there they have to be pretty fresh right because we just snow just finished we'll see what we got like a deer. So those aren't diva tracks there. See, she was kind of interested in them. And then I just, you know, I take these opportunities to kind of observe just natural behaviors. What does she look like when she's curious in an odor? Good thing we're in snow. I could see those tracks. There's a bunch up here. has got some time to potty too surprisingly she left him by all these tracks 
Then I just get curious. Hey, does she have to potty for real or she's trying to send a message? That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, and it was. So the other thing that's important to have, I like to use during these um, kind of hikes, uh, is just my informal recall. So that doesn't mean, hey, get and sit and stare at me. Just get over here. She comes over. Like what I see, she doesn't have to get in the heel. And she can go back to whatever she was doing. All right, guys, short video. I hope it was a little bit informative. Um, the main purpose of this is just to say, hey, even if you have a dog that's your working dog or your pet, sometimes just enjoy them being a dog. Get out and let them have fun. Uh, you have some fun with them. Diva's off smelling something. Um, but we're going to kind of wrap it here. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a video on something particular next or, or what particularly you'd like to see a video on. Peace out.